Okay, this is Donna Merrill here, and I have a special treat for you today. He is called the world's number one small business guru by Inc. Magazine, written many books, and today I have the pleasure to talk to Michael Gerber, who just wrote the latest book, Beyond the E-Myth, The Evolution of an Enterprise from a Company of One to One Thousand. Hi, Michael. Hi, Donna. How are you? Okay, doing well. I love your book. It just, it's like a light switch just turned on to my mind. And I know that I have, um, my audience is mostly bloggers and marketers that call themselves solopreneurs. And in your book, you state that um, they've created a job for themselves. So how do they get out of this job mentality and start a business? <laughs> Well, I don't want to offend anyone. Oh, no. Right. But um, the, the truth has been the truth for years since my very first e -Myth book was published in 1986, um, that people who are, in quotes, in business for themselves, by themselves, even if they've got an assistant or um, somebody who's helping them or whatever, they're all a company of one. And I'm saying that all of those companies of one are going in absolutely the wrong direction. So I finally said, I've got to address this, and I've got to address this in a way that everybody will be able to do it. Because as you know, now this is my 29th book. Yes. And we have over 5 million readers of my books. And my greatest frustration is that while they love my books, they then don't go back and do it. They just keep on doing it, doing it, doing it the way they were doing it before. And I want to change that. So that's what Beyond the e is about. It's, it's about the absolutely clear, eight very critical steps that somebody has to take from step one to step two, et cetera, and so forth, in order to grow a company of one into what I call a company of 1,000. I'm on step sure five. <laughs> company ready for sale. It's amazing because I was considering myself an, a solopreneur. All my readers, followers, clients, customers consider themselves solopreneurs. We're all doing a job here, and this is so enlightening because... I am guilty of this. I'm I'm actually on number five um, in your steps right now, and I'm turning everything around for 2017. <laughs> the ideas are just, I mean, you know, people could read the book, but then they need to take action, you know, and um, I'm taking action. I'm there. I, I'm so excited. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And, and Donna, I want to just, in, in key to that, taking action. Um, if I were to simply write a book, and of course I've written now 29 of them, but if I were to simply write a book, it would be absolutely um, unimpactful, meaning it would be the last thing in the world that would make somebody to do absolutely what they need to do. Everybody needs to have somebody sitting there by their side and saying, no, not that way, this way. No, not that way, this way. No, not that way, this way. Which, of course, is the business we've been in for the past 40 years. So effectively, what I've decided to do was to make it so damned simple that anyone can actually do it. And you've done and a great words, job. I want everybody to think Steve Jobs or Ray Kroc, or Mary Kay Ash of Mary Kay Cosmetics. I want everybody sitting there listening to us right now to say I'm not who I've come to believe I am. I'm someone I've never met before, and I'm determined to meet who that is. And that is the entrepreneurial personality within every single one of us. And I'm saying he, she is there. We've just got to talk to her, talk to him, but in a language that he or she understands. That's what Beyond the Emith is all about. That's what the new dreaming room is all about. 
And that's what our new program is all about. It's a process. It's a process. Step one, step two, et cetera, and so forth. It's a process. I've taken some of the greatest companies on the planet through from the time they were just babies, just beginning, to the point where they are now, companies like Infusionsoft or 1-800-GOT, so forth and so forth. Right. Those companies didn't know what to do in order to grow a company of 1,000, but they learned what to do and absolutely practiced what to do by starting out with a blank piece of paper and beginner's mind. That's what Beyond the E-Myth is here to do for everyone. It's amazing because um, I know, like, I have my clients and my, my readership and all, they're from all over the world. I mean, I have people in Africa, India, um, everywhere, you know, just especially I'm an international, you know, I have an international readership um, from everywhere. And I, I find the beauty of, you know, helping folks that are in different countries that have stepped up and, and taken responsibility to try to, you know, get out of where they are and you know this whole economy the world economy um but don't let me get started on that uh <laughs> but you know the, it, the world economy is really up to us i i believe um it's up to us it's up to individuals we have to you know take responsibilities with our business and not look at it as just me because if i drop dead tomorrow there goes everything um making it a yep, turnkey there goes everything. making it a turnkey as you say in your book is so important yeah, well, and the turnkey part is doesn't start until the fifth step. So understand, before we get to the company, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, before we get to the product, before we get to the um, client acquisition system, before we get to the management system, before we get to the leadership system, we have to get to the dream, the vision, the purpose, and the mission. The difficulty is getting anybody on the street to relate to the word dream, vision, purpose, and mission. But that's key. Yes. So I'm saying to all of your folks, I got to have a dream. I got to have a vision. I got to have a purpose. I got to have a mission. In 1977, when I started this, I had a dream, a vision, a purpose, and a mission. My dream was to transform the state of small business worldwide. My vision was to invent the McDonald's of small business consulting. My purpose was that every independent small business owner could create a company that would be as successful as a McDonald's franchisee is. And my mission was to invent the system that would enable us to do that. Dream, vision, purpose, mission. That's key. And I'm saying to everybody listening to me right now, if you skip those steps, as every one of you have, if you skip those steps, you will never grow a company of 20, let alone a company of 1,000. In short, you'll never build your company ready for sale. Exactly. And that's the process that I take people through, Donna. It's, it's to get your company ready for sale. To think about the company as a product. Your company is your product. McDonald's is a product. Infusionsoft is a product. Um, 1-800-GOT-JUNK is a product. <laughs> and in fact, that product can be replicated faithfully over and over and over again, just like they have been by following what I provide you in Beyond the E Myth. It's Get amazing. The book. It's amazing. Um, I mean, everybody needs this book because I, I, I know of like hundreds, maybe thousands of people that I interact with, that I teach, they, you know, whatever. Um, and, and they have such. I don't know, su such energy, such such uniqueness, such, you know, power that they can do it. And uh, and I speak for myself, too, you know, because for the past seven years, I've been <laughs> just kind of going around chasing my tail, being a so-called entrepreneur, which 
in your book, I realize now I created a job for myself. And um, if I check out that, you know, what happens, you know, it just dangles in space, you know. So I, I just want to, you know, encourage others. And I'm going to go through this myself, too, because I want to, I want to do a turnkey operation. Okay, I, mean, I have a few people. Absolutely. I have a few people working for me and, and stuff, but um, not enough. Not enough to say, hey, here it is. I dropped dead. Here's the plan. You know, and, and this is something that um, I need to do. And I know that many, many people need to do it. And I see, you know, my followers and stuff that they're, they're kind of struggling. And I see them. Um, I feel like in 2017, it's time to clean the slate you know, and just start all over again. That That's one of the things um, I think you mentioned in your book, with just clean it and just meet yourself again. Meet yourself again with well, the confidence. Well, it's, it's called a blank piece of paper and beginner's mind. Yes. I advise every single person listening to me, do not go to work to fix the business you've got. Do not do that. This is about creating the company you want. And the company you want has to be scalable. That means it can grow it a hundred times, two thousand times. You can grow it like a company like Infusionsoft has. When I met the founders of Infusionsoft in the dreaming room some six and a half years ago, they came to sit in the dreaming room wondering what in the world is this dreaming room <laughs> and stuff all about. They were a small company. They were a small company who actually had been relatively successful as a very small company, but they didn't know what to do next. They left that dreaming room with exactly what to do next. And today, Infusionsoft is producing $100 million in revenue with close to 1,000 employees and hundreds upon hundreds of contractors throughout the world prepared to grow to one billion over the next five years. All of that because they had and discovered a dream, a vision, a purpose, and a mission, and the process which then follows it to grow. That's what I'm promising everybody. When they read Beyond the E-Myth, they will begin to understand what that process is, and then we'll take them through it step by step by step by step. Everybody gets to do that. And it doesn't matter if someone is living in a little tiny village or living on Park Avenue, everybody can do this. Um, from what that's I understand. The of it. Yeah, that's what I love about it because I, I know many people <laughs> that are living in a, in a very small little community somewhere out there where we never been and I'm like, where is this? You know? Um and, and I and they're incredible people. And uh, they're entrepreneurs, whatever. But, you know, I, I see that there's so much potential here. I mean, you have really turned on a switch, like a little light switch within my heart here uh, after reading a book. And, you know, of course, this book is something that I want to read over and over again because I need to because I like to take action when I when I see something and it hits and it's like this is what we need to do. And I know my, you know, people who are listening to that are going to be listening to this will want to new, do that. I have a question. What is the dream room? Oh, well, that's the greatest question. It's now called the new dreaming room. Oh. And I just, I just launched it and I let it for two and a half days in Carlsbad, California. And we had a great grand group of people there all for the purpose of beginning the process anew. So effectively, the dreaming room is step one in the process of beginning the conversation about a dream, a vision, a purpose, and a mission. Beginning the conversation about new co rather than fixing old co. And so it's an enormously powerful thing that we're going to be rolling out worldwide. But now I'm doing the first five of them to really, 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 really get it down. So anybody you've got anywhere in the world who truly is ready to blow their minds, um, get them in touch with David, who contacted you, 
and David will tell you how to get people into the dreaming room. That's amazing. I think I'm going to come to the dreaming room because I, I did my you dream. Come, Donna. I got to come. <laughs> I mean, like, I had a business before this, and, and it was turnkey. It was a con consultation business I had for many, many years. And I just gave it to my girlfriend. And I was like, that's a big oh mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what? Oh, darn it. <laughs> I just I have people that come to me, and you know it's hard to sell me incorporated, you know. So it wasn't turnkey, <laughs> but you know I stood with her a year, and and I said, okay, I'm introducing you to her, and she's gonna take over this, and blah blah blah, and she's doing an incredible business, and I'm glad. I mean, she's a she's a good. I love her, but did I make a mistake? I sure did. I could have got some money for that. <laughs> you sure could. But in my internet business, I don't want to repeat that mistake. <laughs> no, we'll do it differently, Donna. I got to see you in the dreaming room. Get a lot of people to come with you to the dreaming room. Oh, I have we'll to. have a great, 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 grand time. And that'll be the beginning of the process of NUCO. And it'll begin it in a way that you've never begun it before. You'll absolutely blow your mind. Yeah, because you know it's hard so let's to get do. everybody. Let's get everybody to buy the book. Yes, they please can get buy the, the book, book. On Kindle, or they can get it hardback. I know I have the Kindle book because I read it before I interviewed you, and I've um, got, got to get it in hardback so I can, you know, have it as like my Bible, um, because <laughs> it is amazing. It is amazing because you know when it really comes down to it, we create our own prosperity we create our own economy and i see the economies with people i i do you know my readers my people who are in my little groups their economy is like unbelievable um you know it, it's they, they need they need to do this they need to rise up and make more money you know i i've been seeing that again it was like a light switch i said like, what am i doing you know i'm putting all this work in and i created a job for myself and i know that everybody yep. that listens to this that i'm going to send this out to they're going to feel the same way and this is the most enlightening experience i've had and i do want to share it with so many others because that's my job, you know, to share to share my knowledge, to, to get other people on board, to get people to to just do what they need to do and express it and, and, and be, you know, and, and make money, you know, because you got it. making money doesn't only help us. It helps the whole world economy. It helps create jobs. It helps, and God knows we need it <laughs> in this world economy. <laughs> we do it. need it and you know creating jobs for other people is the best gift I think we can do you know in this world yep and there's so many so many so many ways to do it yes. uh, and the best way and most important way is to begin with a blank piece of paper and beginner's mind blank not even a question about money not even a question about earning not even a question about giving not even a question about getting it's simply a question about beginning that's where everything occurs, beginning. I'm suggesting that the first step anybody takes in the creation of a company is the most important step they will ever take because most often that first step is taking them in the wrong direction. And so I want to make absolutely certain everybody listening to me here understands that it's not about getting help to fix what you've got. It's about starting out anew, and that everybody can do that. Old Co. is the company you've got. New Co. is the company you're going to create. Everybody's got time to create anew, and I'm suggesting that's exactly what to do, and that's what I take them through in Beyond the E-Myth, the evolution of an enterprise from a company of one to a company of 1,000. So thanks loads, Donna. Yeah, and Thank I'm you. there. I'm, I I got to get into that dream room because I did my you dreaming, and um, I'm pretty intuitive. I could do dreaming. I could. I it's easy for me to start blank, you know, because I've done many of that in my life. Um, I, I I've been around a long time, you know. I, I started that, and that hit me, and I started writing and writing and writing and writing, and all of a sudden, all these new things start coming in, and it's like, wait a minute, that's not my business. This is good. I'm on the right track. Um, 
<laughs> but I'm sure the dream room will really get me going on, like, you know, light years. Super. So, Beyond Emis, it's www.beyondemis, B E Y O N D E M Y T H dot com. That's all they have to do is just go to beyondemis.com and they'll find all about the book. They'll also find out about the new dreaming room that I'm leading in the first week of March Ooh. 2017. Where's that going to be? And, yeah. Is it going to be any in specific location? Oh, absolutely. I don't have it here, but I'll okay. give it to you. Yeah, I'll I'll put this all all their contact information, all the information I'll have links to so we can get me and my followers and many many people on board because you know what? They deserve it. They deserve it. They do. They sure they do. do. They work hard. They've been doing that job thing and I don't want to see anybody, you know, quitting and going to get a job at McDonald's or something. You know, I I, I want to see them keep <laughs> I want to see them keep going. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's my Good dream. Donna. <laughs> well, Donna, thank you very, very much. Thank and I'll you. See you in the dreaming room. I'll see you in the dreaming room. Thank you so much, Michael. It's been a pleasure. My delight. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.